What's up everybody and welcome back here to another Torque Drift on the mobile platform. We talked and they listened. Torque Drift has dropped a fire update with some new tuning on that big winged Japanese S15. And then of course we now have a new body six for the GT86. Removable bumpers, which I think is a big thing because now a lot of people are going to be making those drift missiles. We can paint the roll cage in the interior of the car and some new sticker packs. So we're going to take a look at some of that today. This is a big update. It's going to be multiple episodes probably for this. So today we're just going to take a little glimpse of it. And if you notice in that back corner, there's a Falcon tire rolling around on that car. So we're going to go into the garage real quick. Like I said, there is a new GT86 body kit, which of course we bought for our GT86 and we did paint our cage and everything like that. So we're gonna be doing a revamp on the GT86 with this new body kit. It definitely looks so awesome. And as I said, they did do a retune on the S15 right here. So I did test this a little bit. We're gonna play with it today. The car, remember before the acceleration on the car was not that great. It did not move that fast or anything on those lines. So today, we now have you know a bit of a retune on it what is cool is i think we can add like you know some stuff to it but we do have tires so we are going to leave everything how it sits and we're going to try this car out in its entirety but the other thing is now the removable bumpers so we do have my s14 which i think is going to be turning into a bit of a drift missile because well by the update a lot of people are already doing it we can remove the bumper. There is this reset all button. Don't hit that. <laughs> Unless you want to accidentally reset all your tunings on your car. I did that by mistake on one of my cars. And now I got to retune the car. But like I said, we now have the ability to pull the front and rear bumper off the car. So definitely going to be doing some drift missile stuff. The S14 is going to be coming a drift missile. So we're going to be changing the paint up and all that stuff and leaving the bumpers and everything off. So it's definitely a cool feature to have the bumpers and everything come off now because they would come off before in damage, but now we can actually pull them off and leave them off. So Torque Drift definitely going up, up, up and higher in the uh, content game, as well as you notice we got some new pictures in our garage. So it's definitely cool to see, you know, breathe some life into the game. If you guys watched my last video when I was talking about what's next, new content, new stuff coming out, well, here it is. We got a lot of stuff here, a lot of stuff hitting. And like I said, we do have Falcon tires, but I think there's a slight glitch that they need to adjust because we do have the Falcon tire right there. But when you go into the parts store and you try to buy the tires, they are there, but it won't, like this one won't let me buy anything else. So there's a slight glitch in the tires. Um, I'm sure they're going to notice it and get it fixed up. Um, other than that, we're going to go take some cars out today. Like I said, we have a new tune on that S15, but we also have the sticker packs, which I'm super excited about. Sticker packs, a bit, a bit on the, a bit on the pricey side. Um, the drift missile sticker packs, like damage packs are only about a hundred. But when you get up into the wording, English font, English font three, English font four. And when you get to the FD pack, which gives you the FD door card, which is the one thing I was super excited to see the FD door card. It's 400, it's 400 gold. Um, I know a lot of people have that or a lot of people are going to buy it. And then you have this really awesome zombie, um, sticker kit. So status error decals. So here we're actually going to buy the FD sticker pack, have the gold for it, but now I want to get some font too because I want to be doing, you know, my door cards and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to get some more gold and get my door cards and stuff like that. But we're going to go take a look at that real quick. And we're going to use the GT86 because I know a lot of people probably can't get that sticker pack because they don't have much gold or they don't want to spend money. So the fact that now we can paint base, the cage, and the inside of the car, which is actually pretty sweet, the fact that we can just paint the inside of the car and do whatever we want now is actually an amazing thing. Like I said, Torque Drift definitely stepping up the game when it comes to, you know, their content and super excited about it. And I can't wait to continue, you know, doing more stuff with this. So we're going to add some decals and I believe it's 
So it's going to probably be in the specials. There it is. So we got a bunch of FD stickers, but the biggest sticker that I am super excited about is the FD door card. Because if you guys know, most of my cards, I was making some custom door cards and stuff like that. But now we actually have an actual door card from FD that we get to put on. And apparently it's really hard to put it on because my finger is uh, a bit over that. So we can do that. I'm gonna put it to the other side and then we're going to approve that. So now that we have the ability to have the actual FD card, that's a little off. We're gonna have to adjust that. I can see a lot of cool, uh, cool paint schemes and stuff coming on these cars as well as um, we're gonna discard that as well as a lot of drift missiles and stuff like that different colored doors fenders hoods and all that because well we have damage decals and stuff like that so I'm gonna be doing a drift missile car I know a lot of people are already doing drift missiles fail on my part so we're gonna take this car out we're gonna rip it here we're gonna go to tunnel's edge because I know tunnel's edge is a very good track but if you guys remember this car originally it didn't have much acceleration, didn't handle that great, it couldn't really keep up in tandem because you get left on the line. Well, the update on it made it a lot more quicker on acceleration, more quicker. Ugh. So it looks like we got a missile Supra lined up against us, so this will be a good test on this car. We're going to kick this car all the way up in the 6th gear and run it in 6th gear, kind of get a little acceleration, downshift to 5th, kind of kick it in. So the car handles a lot better. Ooh, a little bit twitchy. I should probably definitely lower the tire pressures. So we are gonna have to tweak the tire pressures on this car to make it a bit of be better handling. But the main test is gonna be that acceleration on our chase because we could not keep up with any cars with this car on chase because of the fact that it just didn't have any acceleration. So, not a great lead run, but the car has 26 PSI in the rear. So, we're definitely going to need to adjust our tire pressures. So, we're going to see if we can keep up with this Supra. And start in fifth gear. Yep, much better acceleration off the get-go. There we go. Ooh. I was expecting him to transition, but he did not. Yeah, the tire pressures definitely need to get dropped. From 26 we need to drop the pressures in the rear and we should be okay to handle and be better handling for this s15 which is very cool because i do love this s15 and i love how it looks so definitely going to be using this car probably some more now that they adjusted the tune for it just a tap so we're going to go adjust the tire pressures and bring it back, see how the difference is in that because I'm trying to fine tune this car to get it to handle it better. We're going to adjust the camber, we're going to adjust the suspension now. So the acceleration is definitely there now. So that's definitely awesome. Retune on this car. So we're going to go adjust some things and then we're going to go back at it and then we will be bringing more of this update content on another episode because I feel like this is a multi-episode update because there's just so much that Torque Drift has given us. So let's go tune this. Let's go, let's see, what can we tune? ECU, what do we got? We're gonna raise the torque. We're gonna raise the RPM, idle RPM. We're gonna raise the rev limiter. We're gonna raise all of that. And then we're gonna go to our suspension setup. We're gonna lower the front a little bit. We're gonna leave it at 12. And now we're gonna go into our Ingle kit, 65, eight. So in, we're gonna leave all, we're gonna bump the caster up as high as we can go. So just some, uh, just some minute changes. We're gonna leave the front. We're gonna go to 24 in the front. And we're gonna back that out. And we're gonna go to the rear. What are we looking at on our diff tune? 100% diff lock, that's good. And now we need to look at our angle kit. Yeah, we need to add some negative camber. Maybe 1.2. Suspension. Drop it a little bit. I think we're going to go 9. So now we need to adjust tire pressure because 
26 is a lot. We're gonna kick this down to probably about 14. We'll start at that. So we're gonna go run the car at this setting and see how this runs right now. But the fact that we have acceleration now, like I've said before, is definitely a major, major update. So go back to tunnel edge, see how, what the difference in the car is. Now that we have a little bit different suspension, a little bit different tire, some camber, some caster, see how this car handles. I do love this car, like I stated before, so I'm glad to see the car is up, is tuned better, which means I'm gonna be using it more. I know a lot of other people are gonna be using it more after they notice it's been retuned. So we're going up against an E30. E30, we're gonna put ourselves in fifth. See how this thing handles in. Initiate in. Okay, much better. Much grippier on the on the rear end of the transitions. So we're high angle. There we go. This car is now handling so much better than it was before on our first run. And so much better than when it first came out. There we go. Oh, too much. Too much into the wall, unfortunately. But we'll finish off somewhat strong. 90,000, not the best run, so we're going to have to ma definitely make it up in the chase, probably. 90 to 74. So, the car handles so much better. That's the tuning settings that I'm going to be running right now. We got the big Wang Gang going on right now with this car. And, uh, well, this car is definitely a competitor now to be used more and more. If I just want to run a car and not waste tires s15 is definitely a strong car now with those changes and everything that i made would have liked to be a lot closer to this guy but ow not that close so the change that i've made still could probably fine tune some changes a little bit more but s15 definitely a runner now so make sure you guys follow me on instagram and twitter all of which are found in the description box below if you guys are enjoying the update, let me know down in the comments down below. I know the devs watch my videos and they also watch the comments. So not saying I have any influence on the game, but you guys all do. Making comments on videos, making comments on Instagram posts and stuff like that. The devs are listening, the devs are watching. So here you go. We got a lot of things. Yeah, apparently we're gonna go again against him. This will probably be the last run for this episode, but like I said, the devs are listening, they're watching. They're definitely listening on their live streams and stuff like that. I've been in a few of their live streams and watching and hanging out. Got a chance to go against them once before. Beat them a few times and they beat me. So it was definitely a good time. Sadly, I was not recording when I went against the get devs. I should have been. But, like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you're not a subscriber, do tap that subscribe button. I would appreciate all the support. I should have linked that, but I didn't. And I do appreciate all the comments and everything. Torque Drift is definitely back. We got a lot of new content to bring out, a lot of new content to bring out for this update. So there's going to be multiple episodes for this update. So if I didn't show something in this one, I will be definitely doing more about it. I know everybody knows about the update, but giving you my take on the update. Definitely enjoying the update and everything that Torque Drift has put into this game. Definitely continuing to grow. I know there was a bit of a lull where there was no new content and a lot of people probably stopped playing, but now... Well, we got a banger update, we got a lot of new stuff, so people are going to be coming back to the game. I know I am, I'm going to be playing a lot more, so as always, I like, thank you guys for coming back and watching, I'm going to finish this tandem up, but as always, I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys on the track.